Today's video is something different. I'm going to be showing you guys my PC slash gaming setup. But before that, don't forget to like and subscribe to DG Putty if you want to see more videos like this. But other than that, let's get into showing my gaming setup. The first piece of equipment that is key to my gaming setup that I use every single day is pretty much my microphone. It is key for you guys to pretty much hear me, although today I'm actually not using the microphone. I'm using my iPhone microphone that's built into my camera. If I turn the camera around, this is the microphone that I use every single day to pretty much record all my gaming videos. It is a Shure MV7 microphone. This microphone is really, really good. It did cost me a lot of money. I think it cost me about three, $400 to buy. I was thinking about getting the other microphone called the Shure SM7B, but that microphone is way too expensive. It is like $1,000 or so. Alongside my microphone, I got a new camera a couple months ago. I used to have a GoPro that I used as a webcam. It actually wasn't that good. I thought it would have been good because it has 4K uh, camera settings, but that's only for like more vlogging styles. When you plug it into a PC, it's not good. So I decided to, a couple months ago, opt for an Elgato face cam. This is the camera here. It's a pretty small camera. It actually does fairly well. It's only a 1080p camera. It's actually not too bad. It suits what I do. I don't really need a flashy camera at the minute, to be honest. All cameras are pretty much the same in my opinion, although the higher end ones do look a lot better. Alongside the camera, the other thing that I sit in front of pretty much every single day for pretty much 12 hours a day is my two gaming monitors right at this moment. The screens that I have is an Acer monitor that you can see on the screen right now. I'm not too sure what model it is, but all I know is it's a 1080p screen. So it's a fairly good screen for gaming. I don't have 4K on it yet, maybe in the future. Other than that, the second screen that you can see on the thing is a bigger screen. I think it's a 32 inch uh, Acer as well. Not too sure what model it is, but I, I use this screen as well for my OBS recording just to see if it's going smoothly and in my spare time. I do a bit of sim racing on there as well. As you can see of my steering wheel and pedals there, they're from Logitech. The keyboard and mouse that I use every day is this keyboard and this mouse here. The very nice keyboard, don't mind it, soft as well. But they don't hurt my fingers as much when I do editing for a long period of time. Other than that, my mouse, my mouse is just like an Acer mouse that's from my PC. It was like a three in one combo with the mouse, keyboard, and PC. So it was actually a very good deal having the three in one, so I didn't have to go and purchase three separate items. Alongside the keyboard and mouse, the thing that I'm sitting on right now, this gaming chair, I did get this one a couple months ago because the old one, it was an all black seat, started to get old and it's starting to flake away. But if I get up now, I'll show you guys my full chair. If you have a look, you can probably actually see my butt imprints on the seat there. That's probably not the greatest thing to be looking at. But anyway, it is the One X brand. I think that's how you say it. I'm not too sure, to be honest. It's a black and teal seat. It's actually very, very comfortable to sit on. It's nice and soft. Right, the next thing I'm going to show you guys is my PC. So if we have a look here, this is my PC. It is a Acer Predator 3000 series, I'm pretty sure. I think the PC has... A 3070 graphics card. Here's a graphics card there. It's a very, very big graphics card, to be honest. Not as big as the 40 series that I've heard. With the graphics card, I think I also have a i7 Intel Core. Not too sure what generation or what spec it is, but it is an i7. It is fairly decent. Not as good as the i9s, I know, but it does the job for me. With the PC, I think the storage that I have already is 1,500 gigabytes worth of storage. I also did have to get extra storage. If you can see back here, I've got extra storage here. It is, I think, another two terabytes or something worth of storage for my PC. This holds all my like games and stuff because there isn't enough storage that I can put all my games onto my C and D drives in my computer. But with the PC, I don't know the rest of the specs, but other than the PC, I do have a couple more accessories that I do have on my table. I do have my headphones that I use. These are JBLs. I also have uh, Sony headphones that I use for like, when I drive and that, because the cable on it's a bit longer. I could probably get a cable extension, but I'm just lazy, to be honest. With the headphones, I do use these two remote controls. 
This mode control here is actually for this light here. You can probably see it's this long light. This is the only light I have near my setup. I actually don't have key lights yet. They're actually very, very expensive, so I cannot be bothered paying for them, to be honest. So I use this light stand pretty much here. It actually does the job. It puts a little bit of light onto me when I'm recording. The second controller here, this one, you're probably thinking, what is this one for? Well, it's actually for lights that I put around my room. You can probably see it up there. There they are. It's on white at the moment. There we have it. That's pretty much it of my gaming setup. Before I leave, I'll show you guys my full setup all together. This is my setup all together here. It's pretty nice. It's fairly neat. It's probably the tidiest I've had it in quite a while, to be honest. That there is my whole gaming setup. If you did like the video, don't forget to like and subscribe. And I'll catch you guys very, very soon for another video.